fixed cameras. Your successful completion of the demonstrated repair ultimately depends on the quality of your tools, the condition of your camera, and most importantly, your repair ability. With the continued resurging interest in instant photography, how about a look at the guts of a one-step? However, a word of caution. When the shell is removed, if care is not taken, if not a literal, a virtual explosion might occur. Well, phooey. At least you're only at the cost of lunch. Not to take a camera apart just for the sake of taking it apart. We have one here where the film pack, when inserted, will not eject the cover card. Something's jammed it. So, with that said, the only tool we'll need is a screwdriver. Slotted screwdriver, sturdy, and it's not used to remove screws, it's used to pry the camera apart. We'll begin with the flash assembly pivot. Gentle but firm pressure is used. Watch out for the flex, you don't want to tear it. Now we'll work around the edge of the camera where it mounts to the front. Work across the top. And then along down the other side. Now we'll have to watch out for the, the shutter button as we uh, pry against the frame of the camera. Oh, wait a minute, I might have got ahead of my hair. Okay, now the front's coming out. Now we need to look for the shutter button. Well, we can see it. Don't just look for it, but rescue it from its mooring. Collect all the pieces and set them aside. It's the, uh, the roller assembly at where it pivots onto the frame. Uh, sometimes it's easier to remove the entire shell as you pull the back shell off, watch out for the, the roller latch. Okay, with the shell removed, the contacts can uh, catch on the, the shell of the camera. Okay, we're gonna inspect in here around the gears and we find a little piece of plastic broken off of probably one of the film packs blocking the one of the eject gears and now turns freely that was probably all that was causing the cover card not to eject from the film pack before slipping the back shell back on you might have to do some alignment of the viewfinder tube as the back shell is worked into place we're, we're going to refer back to the film pack issue of course the film pack contains batteries, and sometimes the batteries can be bad. And anybody that uses Polaroid One Step probably already knows that. But never assume that the battery is good. Always check those first before you proceed with any kind of a repair. Okay, back to the matters at hand. The latch for the roller will need to be seated before the back shell is completely pressed into place. As the film roller latch is positioned, look into the front of the camera and you can see how the latch should be positioned properly. Now the three pieces of the shutter release assembly can go together. These pieces go together as shown. As uh, the pieces are held loosely together they can be slipped into position and they can be held in place while the front shell is then slipped into position. Uh, this often takes some fancy, uh, careful manipulation to get everything aligned before you snap it into place. Be patient and don't force it. Grr. Finally. Carefully expand the pivots of the flash and snap that into position. Always being aware of the flex circuit connection. The last step should be the flash in the film roller. 
Once those are in place, pop a load of film in and give it a test. How about that? Thank you for watching. Inspired? Check back for new video postings.